Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you about the auto mixer on the Behringer Wing. If you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident in your production gear no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to get the auto mixer working on the Behringer X32, but this is the Behringer Wing. And with a new console comes new features that the Wing has that the X32 doesn't. So let's go ahead and dive into those now. Now, on the X32, there was eight channels of auto mixer, and it was limited to only the first eight channels of the board. Now, what the Behringer Wing gets us is 16 channels, of auto mixer available to us, and it's available to us on all 40 main channels, meaning that I can select from any of my 40 channels, one through 12, 13 through 24, 25 through 36, and 37 through 40, and I can select up to 16 of these channels to be for my auto mixer. Now, you cannot select any of your aux channels or any of your bus masters for the auto mixer. Only the first 40 main channels of the wing are available to us with the auto mixer. So let's go ahead and dive into actually inserting our auto mixer on my channels. Now I have three channels here. These are wireless microphones that were headset microphones in a larger room with a panel interview that was happening. Now there's not much background noise actually coming through these headset microphones versus say a lapel, a lapel would be getting a lot more reverberation from the room, a lot more room noise, and that sort of thing. So this is like the best conditions for me with a panel interview is all of them are wearing headset microphones, which is amazing. But you'll notice that even with a headset microphone, having three microphones open still gets a lot of room noise. So this is still going to be beneficial to you using the auto mixer, even if it's just three headset microphones. You'd want to use an auto mixer for really anything that is involving more than one speaker because it just really helps you get good clean signal coming from those speakers. So let's go ahead and actually dive in to see how we implement this. So I have selected my RF1 here. Go ahead and press home. And then we are going to go to our post fader insert point right here. We'll just go ahead and select that. And then we'll notice that we have effects, auto X and auto Y. So we can select from our auto mixer X or our auto mixer Y at this point. And this is a post fader insert point, meaning that if I have this turned down and it's selected on an auto mixer, this microphone, even though it's either muted or turned down, is not going to be affecting the rest of the microphones that are in that auto mixer, which is what you want. Which means that if this was muted and that person was checking this microphone backstage, then that would be interfering with the auto mixer settings of the rest of the channels that are unmuted. But Behringer did this correctly in implementing this in a post fader sense. So let's go ahead and actually do this. So I have selected my RF1 here and I'm going to simply select auto X. Now we also want to turn this on. And so we'll see that that is on. We can then select our next microphone, go to auto X and turn it on. And our third microphone, same thing and turn it on. Now, a few things to show you about this interface right here is that if I was wanting to have one of these microphones selected on my Y, I would just simply select it and I would change it to auto Y. Now, this is going to be helpful for you if you, say, have two crowd microphones that are going through the crowd for Q&A, and then you had the rest of the panel that was up on the stage. I would typically use an auto mixer just for those two microphones that are out in the audience, and then an auto mixer just for the microphones that are up on stage. So for instance, if I had those two microphones, I would set those on Y for the Q&A, and then the rest of the panel would be on X. Also, if you had a host that you were always wanting to have quite live, and maybe you had a second host that was also going to be quite live, and then the rest of the panel lists, then I would set those hosts to be on one of those auto mixers and the rest of the panelists to be on the other. But in this case, we're all going to be on X. We can also enable or disable our auto mixer settings here by selecting them. And once they are grayed out, they are turned off, meaning that it is bypassed. And then the very last thing is, if we have one of our channels here that is turned off on the auto mixer, we'll notice that it's grayed out on this trim knob here. 
And so let's go ahead and turn it back on. Now, this little fader right here is just a trim. And so this is going to be helpful for if you have that host that you're wanting to be slightly louder than the rest of the panelists, what we can do is we can simply select this and bring this up in volume. And we'll notice that we can select and adjust any of them, even if we're only selected on our number two mic. So let's go ahead and actually get this audio playing back. Again, this is three panelists in a fairly large convention center style room, and they are all wearing headsets. So at first, I'm going to disable my auto mixer so we can get a general sense of what this sounds like. And then you'll, I will go ahead and enable it, and we'll see how much this cleans up here. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient, in your case, experience, your full stack security, um, the recovery, and full time um, uh, benefits that you get from our reliability. And with that, I'm going to punt right. it over to you, Craig. All right. Well, Diane, thank you. Jerry, thank you. Yeah. Really good job. Um, you know, it's uh, what I heard in that is both, you know, accelerating the. Okay, and then on this next one, I'm going to enable it. So let's go ahead and enable it. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient, in your case, experience, your full stack security, um, the recovery, and full time. Um, uh, benefits that you get from our reliability. And with that, I'm going right. to punt it over to you, Greg. All right. Well, Diane, thank you. Jerry, thank you. Yeah. Really good job. Um, you know, it's uh, what I heard in that is both, you know, accelerating the and you'll be able to translate so that with your client or is patient that it is in your case care experience. Of all of this noise. Security, um, the recovery and full time. And so I'm going to unmute this microphone. Uh, again benefits and get it that back you get from here. our reliability. And with that, I'm going to right. punt it over to you, Greg. All right. Well, Diane, thank you. Jerry, thank you. Yeah. Really good job. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient, in your case, experience, your full stack security, um, the recovery and full time. There it is on. Um, uh, benefits that you get from our reliability. And with that, I'm going to. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient, in your case, experience, your full. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient, in your case, experience, your full stack security, um, the recovery and. Okay, so I was mentioning that you can select up to 16 channels, and it doesn't matter where those channels are selected from for the auto mixer. So I actually have additional channels here on 25 through 27. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select these for the auto mixer, and we will see that they will just pop up right here. So let's go ahead and select 25, and I'll go to the auto mixer and turn it on, and 27, and to the auto mixer and turn it on. And 26 is duplicated, so I'm not going to turn that up because she's talking already. So, But I am going to turn these two microphones up. And what we'll notice is that there is going to be a lot more background noise when the auto mixer is turned off. But what we do see is 1, 2, 3, 25, 27. And then if I go ahead and add in our 26 here into my auto mixer, we'll just see that it will land right in here. It does order by number. So if your lower numbers are going to be on the left, your higher numbers are going to be on the right. So if I went all the way to 40 and turned on 40 for my auto mixer, we would see 1, 2, 3, 25 through 27, and then 40. But I don't need that turned on there. So let's go ahead and play this audio, and I'm going to have these guys playing through this as well. Here we go. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient, in your so case, experience, your full stack security, um, Just the to recovery, that same and section full time, again, but I'm going um, to turn off the auto mix. Uh, benefits time. that. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or That's patient, in your case, noise. experience, your full stack security. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient, in your case, experience, <laughs> so your full stack. That's a big difference. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient, in your case, experience, your full stack security, um, the recovery and full time um, uh, benefits that you get. So the thing that I'm really excited about with this Behringer Wing is that it gives us 16 channels of this auto mixer available to us, and it does not make it so that we only have to take up the first 16 channels with our wireless microphones. You can place your wireless and your RF and your speaking mics anywhere on the console 
on the first 40 channels, and you can select up to 16 of them with the auto mixer. If you do happen to have any questions, feel free to post in the comment section below. Also, if there's a video that you're hoping that I will make on the Behringer Wing or any of the other products that are out there, feel free to drop it in the comment section below as I'm always looking through those comments for videos that I should be making for you in the future. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my website at drewbrashler.com. Otherwise, thank you so much and have a great day.